Belarus has sparked international outrage by forcing a Ryanair plane to divert to Minsk before arresting an opposition journalist on board. Belarus grounded the Ryanair passenger plane flying over its airspace on Sunday for what turned out to be false claims of a bomb on board. Although the flight was on its way to Lithuania from Greece, Belarusian authorities ordered a military fighter jet to escort it to the capital city of Minsk. According to local media, Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko had personally deployed the warplane. When we received information that there was a civil aircraft in our airspace with a possible bomb threat, the Operational Duty Central Command Post, the Air Defense, was put on high alert. This was done in order to assess the situation and subsequently make the right decision. No explosives were found on board the jet. Instead, when it reached the ground, authorities detained one of the passengers, Belarusian journalist Roman Protasevich. 26-year-old Protasevich worked for online news service Nexta last year when it broadcast mass protests against Lukashenko. He's now wanted on extremism charges and is accused of inciting riots, allegations he denies. A passenger on board the aircraft said Protasevich had his head in his hands and was shaking when he realized the flight was diverted to Minsk. Later, as he was led away, he reportedly remarked, I'll get the death penalty here. When it was announced that uh, we're going to Langton, Minsk, so the Romans stand up, to really open the, uh, let's say, luggage uh, door, take the luggage, and was trying to split the things, like computer, give it to a girlfriend, iPhone or whatever it's called, phone. We all were being checked and uh, they were standing in front of us with guns and uh, they were just... Uh, well, we didn't know what to do because we, we didn't... They were checking our suitcases, but at the same time they were arresting the journalist. After seven hours in Minsk, the flight retook its course and landed in Vilnius, Lithuania. Lithuania's president, Gitanis Nauseda, said Belarus must face consequences. It should be noted that such attacks on the opposition have recently become systematic. I'm attending the European Council tomorrow and we will no doubt raise this issue as well. It's time to stop communicating with the regime just by making declarations. Concrete measures are needed, capable of changing the behavior of the Belarusian regime. Global leaders followed suit in their condemnation, including U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and head of EU's European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, who tweeted, quote, Those responsible for the Ryanair hijacking must be sanctioned. Human rights groups say about 35,000 people have been detained in Belarus since August, and more than 1,000 criminal cases have been launched.